There's me watching James Bond. Somebody talked me into seeing it, man. And I was disappointed. I hated it. It's like, you know, every other Bond movie since 1962. It's like watching Rocky 43 or whatever the number is for the Rocky movies. The stupidity continues. <laughs> it's like the only value in watching a Rocky movie is to see the progression of Stallone's plastic surgery and, and the fact that he can still get away with it. I'm watching this James Bond movie. I hate it because it's the, it's the same stuff since 1962. There's a chase. He has sex with a hot woman. There's a fight in a high dangerous place. He has sex with a hot woman. He's outwitted and captured by the stupid villain who lives on some island in the middle of nowhere. Right, right. There's always an island in the middle of nowhere with a Bond villain. It's like, where is that? The Bronx? Anyway, he's outwitted. He's about to be killed. He, he, he outsmarts the villain and then has sex with the villain. Listen, this movie is stupid. It's like the name of it is Skyfall. They should call the next movie, they should call it Dead Horse, as in they're beating a dead horse because it's gotten stupid. Anyway, I, there was... Uh, uh, Anyway, there was a redeeming value to my weekend. I saw the movie Lincoln. I thought it was great. Daniel Day-Lewis is great as Lincoln. Go see it. If not for that, for Tommy Lee Jones, who's the spitting image of more Mark Gaddafi. In fact, if you threw some bed sheets on him, he'd look at, and gave him some lines like, the people are acting like potatoes and they must be boiled. You'd have the more Mark Gaddafi biopic. Anyway, I had a fun weekend. I hope you guys are doing well. Peace.